Be personal, be uh, personal and act like a person. Don't act like a big idiot. Don't act like you're, you're a company that employs 2,000 people. Act like you're, if you're a four-person company, act like you're a 10-person company. If you're a 10-person company, act like you're a 100-person company. But don't do what we said a couple of slides back, tell lies or, or, or give a false impression of, of yourself uh, or your company. <laughs> don't speak like a corporate, you don't want to speak like, a, uh, like an American television commercial. You want to speak like the, the company you're representing, the area of North Ireland or wherever that you're, you're representing. So don't come across, don't get some guy in America to write a whole marketing spiel and put that up on the internet. Sit down yourself, write it yourself, and try to get your own product or service across in a nice, as the, as the slide says, personify your brand. Put a wee bit of you into that. Oh. Contribute in a meaningful way, very, very important. There's a lovely rule of thumb with Twitter and with Facebook. Um, help people, okay? So if somebody's asking a question, give them the answer. Put in five or six relevant pieces of information, join in the conversation. When you have given five or six relevant pieces of information, add in an advertisement about yourself or your, or your business. So if you want to write something down today for my talk, five or six contributions and one advertisement on your business. If you simply contribute to, to the conversation that's going on online, and don't benefit, you're a fool, okay? So five or six helping uh, pointers, maybe uh, promoting another person's business on your behalf or on their behalf, and then once you've done five or six of those, a nice wee advert about yourself. And if you happen to be doing very well that day, stick in another wee advert uh, about yourself. You, very skilled way of doing these things, put adverts about your company or your business up on Sunday nights, because every man and his dog is on the internet on Sunday night. If you're looking to attract businesses, 3 o'clock on a Monday afternoon, 3 o'clock on a Tuesday afternoon is a really good time for you to put your message. could be as simple as, I've just started this new venture, why don't you take a look? And put that up at times that are, that are appropriate and applicable. Learn to take criticism, exactly the same as in, as in any walk of life. If, if there, um, not everybody is going to agree with your message, especially if your message, as my message is, is clear and bold and concise. You're really trying to put across the, the best parts of your business, your best parts of your personality, and not everybody's going to agree. You're a funny guy, you're a nice guy, you've got a great business. Your business is the best one in a particular area, in a particular location. So learn to take a wee uh, bit, of, uh, bit of criticism. Admit your shortcomings and work openly uh, towards uh, an exclamation and a legitimate solution. That last line sounds really like a Northern Ireland politics line, so we'll just park that, uh, that not for now. But you should really try to, to work with the people. Once you have your, your, um, your web presence established, you should try to work with the people that, uh, that are communicating with you and try to attract more people into your, into your website, into your company. Be proactive. Set yourself a target. I'm going to do this once a week. I'm going to do this. I tweet six or seven times a day, which allows me to get one business message in every day, and I, 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 I'm putting messages on the internet on Saturdays and on, on Sundays. Sundays is possibly the most effective day as regards this sort of stuff. So, you know, be proactive. Don't, don't say, oh, I'll set up that account, then I'm going to do it in six weeks' time. I'm going to do it tonight, and I'm going to start tweeting to it tomorrow. But a few customers, a few relationships recently, whereby they've started um, using this mechanism. One was a print shop. And how do you make a print shop interesting? They did a video. Um, of all the people coming in and out of the print shop and all the stuff being printed and all the boxes and all the money and they put it up a 90 second video they've got i think they told me nine or ten orders from a 90 second video each order maybe totaling 50 or 100 pounds they've done about a thousand or two thousand pounds worth of business from listening to a talk that i gave them <laughs> poor guys <laughs> you, you guys get 30 minutes i mean they get three and a half hours so uh, uh, they did a, a, a they acted on what I had told them, and their business has gone up. I think he told me his business was up six or eight percent. How many other people would like your business to to go up six or eight percent in three weeks? Right? We're not talking about stuff that's that's going to happen in three years' time. And you can't do it all yourself. Perhaps we uh, plug for myself. Ask an expert. Ask somebody that the people in your area, people maybe in the library, at the golf club, at the church, somebody who knows a little bit more about this. And do you know what? People who know more about this than you do really want to share and want to help and want to contribute and want to get their stories and messages across. And do you know what? 
you might have them back whenever they're up and running and maybe more successful than you are. You can point your information at their site or their tweet or whatever it has to be. So accept that you can't do it all yourself. Got a fun for you to, to finish off. You've all been very well behaved. Um, got a fun to finish off. This is to do with, with, with credibility. Okay, so just uh, nice simple ones. The statosphere. I have tweeted earlier that I'm speaking at the DART conference. That is my status, okay? And the, 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 the fun word, if you like, for this is the status sphere. This is, this is where you are currently, what you're doing currently. So if you, if you do nothing else but learn the last, sort of, the last page of my, my presentation here, it'll do you no harm in trying to bluff your way with social media and social media credibility. The me economy, I said at the start of my talk, who's the most important person in all of this? It's you guys. You guys are the most important. So make, make sure that you're getting the best representation of yourself or your company that you can do. Discover and, and decide in your own head, is somebody a friend, a fan, a connector, or a follower? If somebody's your friend on Facebook, somebody you went to school with, they are your friend. 